<coughs> What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to a dramatic entrance to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Man. Last episode, I'm pretty dang sure it's a new recording session. I'm pretty dang sure we finished up pretty much everything besides Goolagoon, right? Oh, yeah, and Chum World, we have to go get a letter still. But, uh, yeah, Goolagoon and the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard are the only two levels left in this game. It's almost like I just started this Let's Play. I, I kind of did. I mean, we are, what, 16 parts in now? But but still, it, it does not feel very long at all. Whoa, look at Larry's antennas going crazy. For the so last crazy. Time, I'm not giving away my extra bus ticket. I'm not here for your measly ticket, Larry. No, oh, I was just taking a long stroll to think of all the ways I can use these jellyfish. There's jellyfish jam and jellyfish jambalaya, candy jellyfish and jelly pot pie, tentacle twist and jelly pops. I can't stand it anymore. Take the bus ticket and hand over those jellyfish. Take the bus ticket and leave. Cool, we got the bus ticket. Where's Larry going? <gasps> You must see. Oh, I was hoping we could just see him like disappear or something. Where did he go? Where did Larry go? I know I'm going this way for. Okay, well, like, I guess let's go back. Or let's go to Goolagoon. It's it's so weird to me. Like, Goolagoon is the last level. I mean, it definitely should feel like Chumroll should be the last level. Look, well, I mean it kind of is because we're gonna go there. After we beat Gulagoon anyways, but still, it's so strange to me, you know? Alright, here we go! That, that's my attempt doing like a surfing sound. I don't know. Don't even ask. Worry not, poor person. Gulagoon, I don't know. Gulagoon, the sand, <gasps> the surf. There is nothing like being at the ocean. Except being under the ocean. Oh, Spongebob. You're so silly. You're so silly. Okay. There's money here, and lots of it, so be prepared to collect lots of money! I don't know why I immediately went this way for her. There's a- it's, it's so strange, there's just money laying around. Oh, you know what it's like freaking- Um, there's a boat right there that we can never go on, because yeah, we die when we jump that one. Look at those guys just watching! So creepy. I never did look into like the distance. Yeah, there's a bunch of different islands, cool. Very obviously just backdrop stuff, but still. Um, Google is actually pretty confusing. I find, I just find it very, I don't know, there's a lot of like, like cliff sides, so it's kind of hard to tell where everything is in relation to you. Yeah, I got it, there we go. Oh, I'm getting a bit of frame rate, rate lag, apparently. It's not recording issues, Are guys, that's just... For trouble? What? Oh yeah, <laughs> I've completely forgot what that was. These lifeguards attack you for some reason. I'm not looking for trouble, sir, but I will destroy your face. Bam, ooh! And then I died at him. I mean, I killed at him. I didn't die at him. Jeez, Chris, learn to English. There's these tires. To me, like, this sand looks, you know, it's a path you walk on, but like this more yellowy sand, you see like the difference here, like this white, and then this kind of, it's, it's more kind of a yellow. It doesn't look like something you would like walk on. It looks like, it looks like you should be sinking in, especially with these tires like in the ground, doesn't it? Am I the only one that thinks that? Like the first time I saw this, I thought for sure I could not walk on here. But, uh, anyway, let's go back this way. It just looks like it's like an out-of-bounds area to me. Over here. No, we can't go up there. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, I, I just find this place very confusing. There's a lot of these umbrellas you can actually move around with, uh, leaf, leaf blower as shown by these little pinwheels here. Correct all of them. Wow, I only have, I only have, I already have 71 dull hairs. Cool. Aggressive jellyfish. Pwn his noob. I don't even know what... See that jellyfish just came out of the rock. That's what I'm talking about. Things just kind of glitch out sometimes. And by this is what I'm talking about. I mean that's just it kind of happens sometimes. Another one. Jeez. Oh, they're coming out of the woodworks. They're coming out of the rockworks. And uh, yeah, here's the uh, bus stop here to Bikini Bomb. Now, one thing I want to point out is very easy to miss, and something that really confused me because this becomes relevant later. This ship. There's a lot of like shipwrecks in this level, but there's something in here. Actually, let's see our to-do list. Um, Goolagoon, uh, umbrella jumping, top of the juice stand, light up the lighthouse. Lighthouse shows the way on the pier. Defeat Larry in a karate match. To the crow's nest, catch Larry jellyfish and Goolagoon. Got 250 doubloons of Goolagoon. Thank Larry for bus tickets. Find the Dutchman's treasure. Okay, so it doesn't say there. Wait, how? 
Oh, we only have 20% of the jellyfish. What the heck? So it's like, what the heck? <laughs> but, um... It doesn't say it yet, but you have to keep in mind that shipwreck. Because gonna, there's going to be a very weird clue. Also, one thing. I could not find a whole bunch of doubloons in this level. And uh, I didn't look this up. But I ended up finding out just by kind of a process of elimination that I could destroy these. And there's doubloons in there. I don't know if you guys saw it. And that kid is very... It's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> you destroyed my cardboard sandcastle. Hey, so it just explodes. No running on the beach. No running on the beach. That guy died in one hit. What a sad little guy. A bunch of garbage lying around. Clean up, clean up yo shizniz, yo. I don't know what I'm talking like that for. Yeah, see, there's a better example of the doubloon. The doubloon! A jellington fish. So, uh, now that Larry actually took our jellyfish, you'll look at our game total here, and our game total did go way down. I'm not entirely hey, sure what it was at. No running on the beach. I was gonna say, you can kind of subtly see, like, different sizes in these guys, and it kind of, um, shows that some of them take more hits than others. Wow, these kids really do not care that I'm destroying all their sandcastles. <laughs> no! So, I'm pretty sure there's three areas here. Oops, three major areas, much like every other level. Although, I'm pretty sure I'm... I mean, this this is a pretty small level, to be honest. I find this to be one... Yeah, definitely one of the small areas. Hey! No running on the beach! Hey! Wow, these guys are dying one hit for some reason. I just felt like the fishing net just did less damage, but I don't know. I don't know. You definitely can't destroy these sandcastles, which is another issue why I could not... I didn't realize you could destroy these, because hitting them with your net doesn't do anything, and yeah, some of them don't have the balloons. Kind of doing this at a weird rate, as I'm kind of going all over the place. I don't have like a, there's no method to my madness, so I feel like I'm gonna miss areas and it'll be very confusing. But we'll see what happens. Oops! Ah oh, man, I always forget. I need to go slow with these guys. No slow motion. Hello, do you guys recognize this guy? Hey, old timer, what's with this pier? This pier handles all the shipping from Bikini Bottom. We can handle orders of any type or size. Our next shipment is going to be a huge load of magic bottles. Seems like <laughs> everyone's trying to bottle up that Dutchman on account of his curse. Do you want to order one? Do you mean I can get one here? Sure, no problem at all. It costs only 300 sand dollars, tax included. Just let me know when you're ready to pay for your order. I like how they specifically said tax included. <laughs> the bench here. That does nothing. Weird. Every other bench just in this game. 300 sand dollars to pay for a magic bottle? Nope. SpongeBob didn't feel like it. Oh, actually, we're pretty close, to be honest. Well, considering we came in here with very little money, we're pretty close. And now you see that opens up an entire area. It's not like you just buy a bottle from from here. It's like here you go. Or here now, go find a bottle for yourself. I'm not gonna give you one. Ha 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 ha! My phone just made a noise. I'm gonna. You guys might not have heard that though, because that's pretty dang quiet. Hey. No running on the beach. Weird, all these guys are dying in one hit. It's so strange. I'm not expecting it. It's very confusing to me. 131. I'm really curious how much... Is it 20 doll hairs per thing? Also, I'm very confused as to why I have, like, one dollar. You see, like, 131 dollars. Why? Why the one? I'm pretty sure I got that from um, downtown Bikini Bottom. Uh, that are in the construction area there where I had to, like, uh, destroy all those bolts. With a uh, mermaid man, with the mermaid man costume, is that it? I get all the things. I got all the things. Cool. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got from there. Okay, 131, right? Yeah, 131. So I don't know why that gave me one dollar for, but uh, I'm pretty sure we were just kind of that weird random one dollar for the entire game now. That's uh, just how the world's gonna work. Okay, we've cleared this area. Let's move on. We're here. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the cutscene here. Gold cool jellyfish! Oh, there we go. Oh, so angry! Excuse me, but can I sit on your lifeguard stand? <laughs> of course not. Now beat it, you little wimp. Wow, what a dinkle. Holy crap. Jeez. And for some reason, killing him summons another. Slightly bigger guy. Kind of spoilers. I like, look at it. He's slightly bigger, and he takes two hits to kill. Oh, three hits. Wow. They just kind of stand there. Combat in this game is so amazing. <laughs> An even bigger guy. It'd be hilarious if they just they just stretched out their model so they look like really pixelated. Jeez, this guy does not. 
but she's not playing around. Yeah, he's Bam B, apparently it's working. We gotta take it four hits. And that's maybe, hey, there's Larry in the background there. It's an even maybe bigger guy. Is that an even maybe bigger guy? Hey, there's money here. <laughs> the way they attack, they just kind of swing their arms like they're trying to give me a hug. Mm. Their whistle is also, jeez, there's another one? I thought that was the last one. This has got to be the last one. I am Godzilla. I think they just stopped getting bigger at a certain point. This guy seems just as busy as others. Also, their whistles look like weird gray tongues. Okay. Do, do, do. Give me a jellyfish. It's like having jellyfish around all these children is a bad idea. Alright. And then the more out of bounds area. Not really, but that's what it looks like. Alright, let's go see what's up with Larry. I mean, one of our to do list things is thank Larry for the busting, which is weird, but okay. Gee, Larry, this place is ocean swell. <laughs> Thanks again for loaning me your extra ticket. Well, 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 look what the tide washed in. It's that dude who catches jellyfish. Try to keep your distance, okay? I don't want my friends to see us talking together. What friends? Oh, sure thing, Larry. But can you tell me where you got that belt? It's got a really nifty letter tile on it. You mean my championship belt? I won this at the Goolagoon Tough Man Tournament. Now stop talking with me, okay? People might see us. What if I just sing to you? Then maybe no one will notice. Oh, there once were two fellas who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. That's it. I'm out of here, dude. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the lighthouse. Eh, at the lighthouse. Eh. I'm pretty sure the G on his belt is backwards, and I'm very confused as to why. Talk with Larry at the lighthouse. So yeah, this is gonna be a very Oh no, Larry's gone. Looks like we're gonna find him again and get the belt or talk try to convince him to give me the belt again. It's a pool of sand in it. It's like a pool with no bottom for some reason. I don't freaking know. No bikini bottom, ha ha! <sighs> Ow! This guy right here! Look how freaking huge he is! Like, I get it's kind of supposed to be like, oh, he's standing. Like, if you look at it from this angle, he doesn't. I uh, even saw. So. He actually, he looks pretty freaking big still, doesn't he? But it's like, oh, he's just got to be standing on like a platform or something. But yeah, if we jump off, we can just see he's like, oh, well, he's just kind of floating in the air, like half a foot off the ground. But, uh, even so, he's freaking massive. He's like three SpongeBobs. That's scary, man. I don't know why it's so scary for, but it is. It's like freaking Godzilla fish. <laughs> Okay, um, I, uh, is that, have we explored everything? Have we explored all the things here? I, I think, maybe, I don't know, besides going on the umbrellas. I ask because I'm going on the umbrellas next. But, uh, I, no, I can't get up there. No freaking way. Okay, so it might, wh why'd you respond? Please respond. Please respond. Please respond. Oh, holy crap, this guy's bigger. Jeez, man. Why you gotta be so large? Okay, I guess we didn't get everything here then. Um, Goo Goon, 62% jellyfish. I, I don't think all the jellyfish are in this area. I guess most of them are. Cause holy crap, man. We've collected pretty much all the jellyfish already. Alright, here's the next area. We're not done here yet, but... Uh, might as well take a look at what we got making my way to the top. So that's the way. That's the way the lighthouse. There's, a, there's like a cloud above it. Apparently, I, I, I think that's the lighthouse. Maybe I don't know. Oh no, it's my nine. Well, all's well that ends well. <laughs> I don't know. My brother's in the ocean. The ocean. That's a joke my old friend always had for me. Is like, or not always. He said it once to me, and for some reason it just stuck with me. It was like in like the fifth or sixth grade. Just really quickly, he said, "I." Oh man, I love the smell of the. Oh, wait, I don't want to go back to Bikini Bottom. Crap, I got mixed up between that and the changing tent. I, I didn't even realize till like I saw the loading screen. But like he would be like, "Oh man, I love the smell of the oh shit." I was like, "Yeah, me too." And he's like, "Do you know what I said?" It's like, "Yeah, the ocean." No, I said the oh shit. I was like, oh, <laughs> uh, that is a, that's a really dumb story. I don't know why I told you. I apologize. All right, let's go. Let's go. I figure I might as well change to the reef floor now. Even though there's a changing tent like right 
by the bus stop as well but whatever or uh, as in the bus stop once you're already in Bulagoo. but whatever doesn't matter <gasps> everything's gonna respawn though now that sucks well, i'm pretty sure everything was kind of responding when i ran far enough away anyways yeah there's a changing tent right there so uh that's gonna really disorientate me too because i might have you know what if i forgot to destroy a sand castle and i hey. Now that all the like, sandcastles have respawned, it did. Now I'm gonna be confused. You know, so many confuser kisses. So, you might think, like, you'll blow those around and then they'll stop, but I'm pretty sure they go on until. You know, maybe. Maybe they stay on, I'm not sure. I know that at least they stay on for, like, a long time, like, minutes and minutes and minutes. So, I don't think we have anything to worry about. But uh, I guess we might as well take care of this area while we're here. They don't, they don't even look like they're swinging too much, but uh, you definitely you definitely you cannot make these jumps without doing that. Oh, see, now there's like jellyfish up here. Hmm. Okay, let's just run around then. Try to get all the umbrellas. There's only... There's this area with umbrellas, and I'm pretty sure there's just... Uh, the area where Larry is, where also has umbrellas. Besides that, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. <laughs> I love how these kids don't hey, care at all. No running on the beach. Do you care about the reaper? No, you do not. I am almost dead. I destroy that? No, I can't. Uh, well, you know what? Screw that one. I know for sure I got that one. It's a very, it's a very easily to remember thing. Yeah, no, no. I really need that underwear, please. That pants. Damn pants, though. I like how there's like five or four, I guess, pairs of pants there, not just one like it looks like. But four. There's no umbrellas here, right? Oh, there is. Duh. Duh, Tommy. How'd I miss this? I Duh. I told you to slow down. I thought I told you to slow down. Well, you know what I think? I think you're a silly... Oh, man. Silly guys these days. Don't even know when to stop being silly. No! Yeah, this comes up Excuse again. Me, but... Oh, no! That means I have to defeat him again. That is annoying. Oh, I can't even just hit him with my net either because I have the reef blower. That is really obnoxious. So annoying I don't have a real attack with the reef floor. And it doesn't help that I'm like glitching out when I'm hitting the I don't think I'm hitting them. I am. It's really hard to tell when you're hitting someone because they don't really sometimes they make like the animation where they twitch a bit. Oh, they don't always. He sure is an XXXXL because he's so big and spiky. See, it's like that didn't even look like it should have hit him, but it did. Okay. Let's see, there's a letter on top of that stand there. Boom shakalakas. Boom shakalakas. Boom shakal. Did I get him? No. There we go. It's like a weird. He dies like in the middle of my attack. I don't know. It's kind of loud, isn't it? Well, actually, you guys probably won't be able to hear that because I'll be adjusting the audio stuff anyways. Wow, I haven't got a single letter this episode. Pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah! I killed everybody! <laughs> everybody is dead! Alright. Bam! Okay, just making sure I didn't miss that one. This area that I'm a little bit more confused about. Not confused, but unsure of what I got and what I didn't get. And the brothers goes crazy. This goes crazy, man. Alright, let's go back to my uh I thought I told you to slow down. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like freaking like Arnold Schwarzenegger for. It's a very hard word for me to pronounce. Yeah, I guess these are still active. I think I think they turn off if you like go get on the bus like an idiot like I did. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure they, they're gonna stay active. Till I leave. Or change to the fishing net. Now they stopped. Yay. Just kidding. That'd be horrible. I'll be so sad. So sad. Alright. No, my finger slipped. Dang it. Ah, oh, my thumb slipped off the joystick. Should be good. Yeah. It's funny they put the green ones on here because, you know, they're so. It's such a small little area here. You'd think they'd put like a, I don't know, like a red one or just a per pink one would actually make the most sense. Because the red one, well, red one would be okay too. Blue one would be bad because it runs away from you. Ooh, almost looked like I was going to make that. 
But, uh, the green one, it's like there's such small platforms. You think they're gonna run away? Oh, God! There's an anchor up here. Hoist your anchors! R -r -r. I don't know. I don't know. Just don't know. Wow, I thought it was way closer to him. <laughs> um, I, is that it here? No, I guess we go on this one from here. Oh, okay. Oh, this one actually doesn't matter because we could do this. We're so close to finishing this area. We're getting kind of late in the episode here, but we're so close to finishing there. Did I get that guy? I did not. Of course I didn't. That'd be too great. You get closer than that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I love fishing with SpongeBob. It's fun. It is so freaking fun. It's great. Oh, is this an alternative way? Oh, well, I guess we'd still need the lifeguard stands. I was going to say, this might be a quicker way to not have to use the lifeguard stands, but we totally would anyways. Oh boy, I don't even know. Okay, that's fine, because we can use the lifeguard stands for all this. We're so close to being done here. This, this first area here. Ah! Come on, crouch. I'm going to have to make like two trips here. I'm so slow. These work. It's not gonna work. I timed it out. Ah! I'm all stressed out because I'm like, I gotta, I gotta end this episode. It's getting long. It's getting long. Catch. I just end it here. You know what? I'll just end it here. You know, why? We don't have to finish this area in this episode, right? You guys don't care. You guys can wait another day. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Next one, we'll quickly finish up this area in the first couple minutes, and we'll go find Larry at the lighthouse, and oh boy, the lighthouse. Oh boy. Talk to you guys next time. Bye!